Zhou Chen. If you can't, go see a doctor. It's okay. It's nothing serious now. I really don't know what's so great about that guy. You keep saving him again and again. He's a good person. How are Yang Yang and the others doing now? They're hiding at the Joe's place. This kid would cause me a lot of trouble. Master, Mr. Wang is waiting for you in the reception hall. Let's go. Okay. Greet them all, sir. Mr. Charlie, you're too generous. You've worked for Boss Yan before. You've seen it all. Hope you don't mind. Not at all. Hey, your clothes. Oh, these were sent by a pen pal. I'll change when I get home, please. Hey, here you are again. Miss, you look even more beautiful today. Oh, you're in good health. Upstairs, please. What's going on? Got a talking to from my sister-in-law? Listen to me, bro. There's an old saying in my hometown. It's a tree unpruned won't grow straight. A wife unscolded won't be obedient. You need to man up. What happened at Chief Tong's house? Chief Tong's house? <laughs> hey. Thank you, sir. Tell me. Chief Tong's family is really unlucky. Chief Tong died a couple of days ago. A few days later, his wife hanged herself. How tragic. Do they have any other relatives? No. Bro, remember, you've got a man up. What? He died? Hey, take it easy. You're acting like this is your own house? Did you find out anything? I came across Yan Kuo Cheng's old accountant. According to him, Yan Kuo Cheng suddenly appeared here 15 years ago, and no one knows where he came from. There are rumors he came back from Hong Kong. Interestingly, Zhang Jinbiao also arrived in Tianjin 15 years ago, but no one knows where he came from. Charlie. Do you remember when Tong Jun joined the police force? Perhaps the second year of the Republic. The second year of the Republic, 15 years ago. And their origins are mysterious. There must be a connection between them. Dinner's ready. Let's eat and talk. Miss Zhou, you are so skillful. The dishes are so exquisite. Especially this chopped pepperfish head. It's full of color and flavor. Not at all. Just some home-cooked dishes. Miss Zhou? You're too modest. Molly, why don't you sit down and eat? I'm not hungry. You guys go ahead. I'll check on her. <laughs> Miss Joe, don't overthink it. She's probably just tired. Hmm. Here, brother. Why are you out here? A whole table of dishes, all spicy. She's clearly targeting me. What to do then? What to do? Just stay hungry. Oh. Oh what? Aren't you afraid I'll starve? No, I'm not. Heartless guy. Do you want to eat?
Take it easy. I'm not competing with you. Are we really squeezing in three people here? You can sleep on the floor if you want. I don't have any extra blankets. Molly, I'm so sorry. We only have two rooms. So, you'll have to share a bed with me tonight. I'm not that delicate. Oh, my memory. <laughs> this is... I'm sorry, Molly. I didn't know you couldn't eat spicy food. So... I made you a bowl of noodles. Miss Joe, you don't have to be so polite. You're making me feel embarrassed. Molly, eat up. It'll get cold soon. Actually, I, I'm not very hungry. <laughs> then I'll just have some. Actually, I'm on a diet right now. You're so thin and you're still dieting. Not really. Compared to you, I still have a bit of baby fat. You don't know. I suffered from malnutrition when I was young. What a coincidence. I'm a doctor. And I have a fellow student who works at the church clinic. I'll take you to see him one day. Well, thank you very much. It's not a big deal. What's wrong, Molly? I smell something like herbal medicine. It seems to be coming from you. Why do I smell something like herbs? It seems to be coming from you. You mean this? What is it? This is a herbal pouch made from dried and processed herbs. It can repel mosquitoes. I have another one. Do you want one? Mm. I think I'll pass. You might not be used to the smell. Yeah. Sorry. Let it be. It's so late. Why aren't you asleep? Aren't you also awake? Your brother snores. I can't sleep. Really? My brother? Yeah. Maybe it's Charlie. By the way, I just heard... It seems that something fell in your room. 
Mm. A pillow. It might be a pillow. Mr. Zhang, do you believe in fate? Fate is really mysterious. Among billions of people, meeting might just be a coincidence. Let's go, go upstairs. So many things. I think it might only be explained by fate. There's another possibility. What? You are the murderer. Me? If it is me, would you catch me? Hmm. No. Catching prisoner is the police's job. I just need to find the real culprit and clear my own name. It's foggy. You should go back and rest. I'm leaving. Mr. Zhang, I know someone. Who might be able to help you? You are plagued by fire disasters. And this month is also a fire month. So everything is going wrong. Master, as you said, how can I break it? It's simple. Tie this talisman to your left hand. In five days it will dispel the fire disaster. And bring good fortune. Are you sure it's the left hand? Absolutely. Our meeting is fated. I'll only charge you one silver dollars for this talisman. Left hand? You fraud! Hey, wait, brother! Although you lost an arm, you also cut off future misfortunes. With this talisman, you'll be rich and successful. Go away! You fraud! How about I give you another one? Do you think this guy is reliable? Knows heaven and earth? One divination determines everything. Is your fortune telling accurate? You'll know if it's accurate after a reading. Then guess what we want to ask. Man... Are you here to cause trouble? Fifty silver dollars. Amazing. He could even figure out that? Now can you tell our fortunes? Is my prediction accurate? Help me check on three people. Zhang, Gen Pong. What do you want to know? Their pasts. Three days. A day. This 50 silver dollars is a deposit. There'll be a hundred more after the job is done. Deal. What if this knows heaven and earth guy is a fraud? It's Charlie's money anyway. Yeah, he doesn't lack money. Uncle Chung, what are you doing here? Oh, today is the garden reopening day. I came here to check for any issues. You. Uncle is inside. Wait. <laughs> Master Wang, I'll leave the Guangzhou's issue to you. Farewell. Yang Yang? Uncle. Uncle. <laughs> You, why did you come out like this? Don't you know, both the authorities and the underworld are after you. Come inside with me quickly. Okay. Uncle, 
Who was that person just now? A business friend. I heard you mention Guangzhou during your conversation. <laughs> I received a batch of porcelain to be sold in Southeast Asia. Master Wang has his own shipping company. So I entrusted him to transport my porcelain. And what are you and Ziyuan doing out here? We are investigating the identities of Tong Jun, Yan Kuocheng, and Zhang Jinbiao. We already know their identities. What's there to investigate? Uncle, you don't know. All three of them have problems. What problems? They suddenly appeared in this area 15 years ago. Look further back. There's nothing to find. So, listen to my advice and stop investigating. It's a nasty thing for you to handle. Do you understand? If we don't investigate, then Ziyuan will have to bear the burden of being a murderer for life. The storm is coming. <sighs> this matter goes back to 15 years ago. There was a warlord named Liu with the help of four trusted aides. He ruled Huai City in Western Hunan. When Liu Warlord was ambitiously expanding his territory, he suddenly fell ill. Medicine couldn't help him. Knowing he couldn't recover, Liu Warlord entrusted all his wealth and family to his four subordinates. However, the four of them seized Liu Warlord's entire fortune and brutally killed his family. After that, the four left Western Hunan, came to Tianjin, and transformed into local gentry and celebrities. But in secret, they continued their evil deeds. These four are Yang Kuocheng, Zhang Jinbiao Tongjun, and Tan Chun. Tan Chun? I've never heard of her. Are you sure he's in Tianjin? They say the greatest hiding place is in plain sight. But we haven't seen his true face. Why are you doing this? I'm asking you a question. I have my reasons. Wake up. You and he are impossible. I know. We're not on the same path at all. Then why do you keep helping him? I'm not helping him. I'm helping us. Naive? Brother, I don't want you to get deeper, killing innocent people. Innocent? Aren't we innocent too? You pity him? Who has pitied us? I will prove that I am right. How will you prove it? Chen, don't forget. You almost died once already. Knock me out! Quick! <laughs> 